guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Foss and Kujin and we're back with the OC season 3 episode 4 The Last Waltz Waltz? Waltz Yes Vals <laughs> In French <laughs> Last episode, uh, we lost our innocence in many many ways uh, Marissa and Ryan slept together for the first time because they thought Marissa was going to go to Hawaii with her parents. Uh, Julie was going to marry um, Jimmy. Jimmy right after the, the will was, was going to be read. And they, she, but they found out she that... She got nothing because Caleb's Caleb broke. He's broke. <laughs> yeah, so uh, no Hawaii. Uh, Jimmy was fucking on the run. He was taken before he managed to leave and they beat him up. Uh, Marissa, after the night she spent with Ryan, she found him with all the bruises and stuff. and. He did not explain, but he said he had to go, and, and she said, yeah, it's okay, I understand, but, but if, if you, you leave, leave, do not come back. Yeah. Bah! And she went Et to her mom. Stop. <laughs> she went to her mom and, and told her, so this is really sad. Kristen came back home after reading the letter her father left her. That was really, really mm. sweet. Uh, Charlotte, the house, that the, the chalet that she had with Chris the cabin, cabin. Yeah. yeah, it's not her father's, she pretended, so we kind of had a doubts about this, that's true. Uh, and now she left and she said she was gonna go spend some time on the beach, so I think she's coming. I'm gonna be wary. She wants Kristen's <sighs> life, right? I don't know, man, but it's, it's she's not good news. And uh, Seth now has uh, detention because they helped Ryan uh, build a... a little cute place for him and Marissa. Hawaiian cabin for yeah. us. And he, for, got, uh, he yeah. got caught by the, the Dean of Discipline. So this is where we are. Mm -hmm. Let's jump in this episode right away and see what happens next. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these episodes. Check out our Patreon for the full length reactions and please forgive me for my weird English I cannot speak today. This is, yay, great. Let's, let's go guys. <laughs> At least you guys have each other. If you stick together, everything will be okay. Hopefully they do. Since we finished the recap with this, I don't think they will. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Are you sure this is what you want, Coop? I, mean, I don't really have a choice, Sam. My mom can't afford private school anymore. I told you, you can always go to school with me. I know, but I really think this Public is gonna school. be fun. <laughs> it's kind of nice to be somewhere where everybody doesn't know every little detail about your life. You don't have to be stared at all the time. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Oh. They are staring. The horror. They might not be a part of your crowd, but word travels. It's gonna be a different world. <laughs> I'm surprised that I... Ryan is not going to public school. Why Home was school. he? Yeah, but why is he getting homeschooled? You know what? I recall uh, bringing on four with Eden Panettiere. Same thing. The money blonde who came to uh, the public school and she's an uh, uh, outcast. Well, when you're a rich girl and you come into public school and people uh, that's not your crowd. They reject you. Yeah, they're gonna judge you also. Oh. You did not just walk into me. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Was I supposed to just see you coming and step aside, princess? That's oh, not what she God. said, bitch. Just tell me you think you're better than me. What? Hey, I recognize her. I don't. So now you're lying to me. So you think I'm stupid too, is that it? Oh my God. Are you welcoming a new student? I can take that for a diary. Whatever. We might have a friend, so. I really don't know why she's got it in for me. My guess is the bag. And the shoes. You look too rich. Anyways, welcome to Newport Union. You're the first nice person I've actually met. And I'm not even that nice. Slap of reality. I was about to say, people in public school, like we don't, we went to public, public school, we don't treat people from private school like that. But then I remembered that back in the day, there used to be a, a rivalry fight between us and the college next to us. So, yeah. I thought I'd see if you needed any help with the dance. No. Okay, <laughs> Summer, look, I know I can be a pain. You tattled to the dean and got Ryan kicked out of school. I don't have any friends. There's a shocker. I know, and it's my <laughs> fault, but I decided that this year was going to be different. I'm sure people write prose poems in your yearbook about what an incredible friend you are. Why don't you start by saying sorry? I want someone to write, I'm glad I finally got to know you. I don't know. Go show Beth what an octagon is. It sounds genuine, but the fact that it's out of the blue and it's summer, right after Marissa got kicked out of school, I feel like I don't know. We can't trust her. We'll see. Either you're the worst thief ever, or it's your first day. I can't remember which locker is mine. Probably isn't that one because that one's mine. Right. You'll get used to it. Hey, I'm Marissa. Nice to meet you. I'm Johnny. Hey. What's up? Oh, oh, oh. I'm okay. 
This is Casey, my girlfriend. We met, yeah. I think we found our new potential crowd. <laughs> this is the public school Ryan and Marissa from Newport Union. Childress. And this is Seth from Newport Union. Yep. Do you want to come with us? We're going to go get some to eat. Marissa's actually waiting for her boyfriend. Boyfriend? It's going to be a problem for me because I love you. No. What if we just get you right home? Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you rather come to school tomorrow knowing a few people? Yeah, okay. Let me just make a call. Are they trying to paint him as a potential love interest? We're with Ryan now. Like, please stop. <laughs> Hi. It's me. I was going to see if you'd left already. Uh, because some people ask me to get food. He's just right there. I know I should try and make friends. He's going to allow it to just, yeah, don't go. No, no, go ahead. I was just getting in the car. Just call me later, okay? Okay. Bye. He wants to spend time with her, but he also understands Bye. that it's gonna be easier if she has friends, it's gonna be easier if she gets to know them. Don't be jealous though, man. At the very, oh, or I mean, join in. Yeah. Why not? How would you like to uh, stay with Summer for a few days? See, I, I told Caleb's lawyer that we were thinking about moving. He thought that meant we already had a place, so he put this house on the market. We're getting kicked out, aren't we? No, of course not. Don't lie, yes. she knows. It makes sense we'd have to sell everything. You know, you don't have to protect me. Well, then do you think it would be all right with Summer if he stayed until we got back on our feet? And we will get back on our feet and we'll be wearing very expensive shoes when we do. I would sell the expens uh, expensive shoes. Yeah, I mean, I know we've had our differences, but if there's one thing I'll always say, it's you're a survivor. So if you say we'll make it, I believe you. Technically, Julie knows this sure. life. Mm -hmm. It's just been a while. You must have saved a lot of money over the years, right? Ha! <laughs> Julie? <laughs> Savings? Help! Uh, Kirsten Cohen? Yeah, thank you. From? Is it Sandy or Charlotte? I am sitting here staring at the lake and wishing my friend was here to share it. Well, the flowers were beautiful, thank Stay you. Stay away, Satan. She sent the flowers. Oh, I was hoping we could maybe meet. Oh, lunch sounds great. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's say one o'clock. Perfect. Bye. The foot? Final. She better come through with that money, though. Trust me, she will. And she loved her flowers. She wants to get close to get some stuff from her? Money? Yeah. If I tell you this, you do not hear it from me, okay? I was walking by the teacher's lounge, and I heard Dean Hess telling Dr. King that he knew Seth hadn't stolen the tiki out alone. If Seth didn't tell him by the end of the day who the other person was, he was going to suspend him. Is it manipulation to have her say yeah. oh. Because if she's suspended, she cannot be in charge of the dance then, right? And she's going to save Seth, like try to protect him and fuck. I don't trust Taylor. High school is savage, man. She has too many it goals. Sounds. Yeah, she's obsessed with what she doesn't have that Summer has currently. So yeah, she's screwing her over, I think. Listen, I put this off as long as possible, but we really have to make a decision about the Newport Group. It's it's also in debt, right? How long before we default on our loans? Six weeks. Oof. It's not too late to rescue it. We could sell off some assets, restructure the debt. Option two. We sell, sell everything all? and walk away. I'm behind you either way. Wow. But it's her father's company. This it's is her work. Ah, oh, okay. Like that? She didn't want that job to begin with. It's still a big decision. It is one, but she just made it. But now, like, Charlotte wants to go after her for money. <sighs> Dean Hess? Oh, my God. I helped Seth steal that tiki hat. Or borrow it. Whatever. That's the truth. With this on your record, I can't very well... Oh, of course. A social chair. Please, I really have grown to love that job. And that has um, nothing to do um, with it. Wait a second. Who would replace me? Um, Taylor? Yeah. I understand what's going on. Taylor's very qualified for the position. And that's not how that works. He has no fucking business, you know, changing that. You're such an idiot. You were never going to suspend Seth, were you? They're late for class, Summer. Uh huh. -huh. They are working together. Yeah. Siblings? Oh, yeah, they're just fudging together. <laughs> You thinking of going? Well, I don't know. Does it have a theme? I think the theme is school gym, bag of pretzels, and chili spikes the punch. You keep it things simple. <laughs> Public school does not have the funds for this. <laughs> I know I made it sound like not much fun, but you should go, really. Dennis and Casey and I are going. Well, not have fun together. Excuse me. I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. I, I was acting like a jerk. Don't worry about it. So then you're not going to shoot me? Oh, God, you I mean, isn't that why you got kicked out of that private school? She's a bitch. Ah, and trying way too much for no reason. Marissa, don't listen to her. Why? She's right. That's why I'm here, and now everyone's gonna know. Everyone already kinda yeah. knew. Word travels. I saw the news. You did what you had to do. You said you saved someone's life that night. Not a lot of people would do that. Honestly, anyone with a brain would understand that. 
He's gonna think that she's getting oh, close to a guy. <laughs> yes, he's gonna think that. You got the eyes of a hawk, man, though. Let's go find Casey. What's going on? What's wrong? What'd you do? Nothing. I'm fine. This is my boyfriend, I'm guessing. Hey. He wants to protect her always. That's his yeah. motto. That's what he goes, he does. But that's the default mode. He was just trying to be nice. Yeah, but you've been through so much and now he's not with you to help. Like, he's on edge. I, I misjudged the situation. I overreacted and might have maybe embarrassed her. Now you're tearing yourself apart, wondering if you've not only damaged her standing at enemy school, but perhaps also your relationship, more or less. The oh, that is a pickle. Moving on. <laughs> no advice? What advice? Call her, apologize. It's not rocket science. Yeah. Man, you homeschool kids are pathetic. <laughs> hey. Listen, um, bye yesterday. It was my fault. Let him say sorry, yeah, come on. Sorry. No. Okay. Just let your sorry tale. So, you want to go to the movies? Ryan! Actually, I was thinking of doing my homework. But I'll probably need a break, so uh, we'll talk later, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is not good. They do not know how to handle each other, ever. What if there was a place, like the lake house, where women could go between rehab and the real world? Oh, I'm trying to open a halfway house or something. A place where people can go. It's a fucking scam. You mean invest? Oh, it would just be a couple million to start. <laughs> just a couple of million dollars. I don't have that kind of money. Please, don't be so modest. When my father died, he left nothing. And she'll disappear after hearing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just assumed so what about the Newport group as a silent partner? I'm selling it. I just figured. Better to rid yourself of every last vestige of your dad. I don't know if I'd put it that way. Oh, she's gonna use that. I don't want you to be uh. disappointed when the issues remain even after the company's sold. Using the stuff that she told her in confidence, stuff from there. Please don't make this more difficult than it has to be. If you haven't already done so, I suggest you take this time to pack your personal belongings. Well, you knew they were coming, right? Like, yeah, you said 48 hours. You did not count the time like when she didn't think they were that serious surprise what are you guys doing here we came to take you to the school dance it's a school dance you gotta go if you don't show up people might start to talk you'd hate for that to happen right to be fair they are nice friends from the look of it mm. where are you headed uh dance there's a beach day yeah i'm gonna drop in on marissa see if she needs a study break and i grab a bite oh Ooh, shit. it's gonna that she's not at summers and she lied i'm doing the right thing closing down the newport group i'm not hiding right hiding no you're putting the past behind you. What is it? Charlotte. We forgot the oregano. I'll be right back. Mm. All right, here we go. Timing is good, because he always shows up. Her. Damn it. Marissa, this doesn't look good. Really not. thought you were studying tonight. I was. Eva, Eva. You're about a partner. Uh, there's this dance tonight in Newport Union. I was going to tell you, I just this didn't. This about yesterday? No, I swear. Hey, look, I wish I didn't have to go to this. It's just being there every day alone. I mean, I really need these friends, Ryan. Can't he go with you? All right, you should go. You need to talk about this, please. <sighs> because <sighs> this, the issue, it's not going anywhere. And coming from Chino, he'd hang out fine with these guys. Why can't he Come go on. with her? If he go, then it's gonna be popular. Look at him. If you don't talk, you'll break up again. And it's probably gonna happen. It's the OC, they can never yeah, be happy. Marissa doesn't want to talk about her issues and Ryan doesn't want to communicate his feelings. Yeah, no. Time to add a little flavor to the punch. Now it's officially a school dance. You gotta beat her up. Marissa, this is how things, you know, work in public school. <laughs> As, you know, uh, assert dominance. Assert dominance. <laughs> Marissa, wait. What am I supposed to do? They're all staring at me. Public school kids. They're all little psychopath. I smell fear. You just gotta go back in there and act like they're not looking at you. Come on, what do you say? That will pass, honestly. You just stop acting like it's affecting you and it'll get, they'll grow tired of it. He's feeling left out. It's incredible. Yeah. It's like you brought the ocean to us. Hi, everybody. I'm Taylor Townsend, your social chair. I did all of this. Black, she's not taking credit for Thank it. Thank you. Yet. So this dance has been my baby now for quite a while. Okay, she's taking credit for it. <laughs> I am going to kill her. But I'd be behind her on that. Everyone have fun because.
because this really is the end of summer. Uh oh. Put it in, I guess. From the beginning, I knew this plan was crap. Spending 30 grand to go to rehab just to find a mark? It makes yeah, sense. Okay. This woman is the princess of Orange County. And we'll find a way. To Actually, I'm relieved that this is what's going on. Yeah. It's more like a Bonnie and Clyde type of thing. Yeah. It's less like psychopath obsessed with Kirsten. Like, it's just someone who wants to prey on vulnerable people. It's still really bad. It's just I'm used to this more <laughs> in stories. I didn't know you kept the oregano stashed in here. Recognize this? Sure. Built in 1922, and I convinced my father to restore it. It was my first project. All those years, he was right on the other side of that wall, and no matter how hard I worked, I was never going to reach him. We can keep the company. No. I just needed to say goodbye. Mm. You're sure about that? It's huge. That's, that's what I expected when he asked. I guess it's too late for dinner. How do you feel about a picnic? Oh, sweetheart. Sandy, oh, are you real? <laughs> Poor Ryan. Everyone is going to a party and he's eating grilled cheese. I just wanted to see how you're doing. Great. Just wanted to make sure you're not taking this Marissa thing too seriously. Seth, it's fine, I get it. Guys. You get it, but your heart is still hurt. I don't think she's pulling away or... You can look back on tonight and say, it's when I started losing her, I... We just got her. If you didn't think of that, I think now you just sent I him had on that the idea. Repeat after me. You're not yeah, look, losing her. Go. Is he gonna go to the dance? I think he will. I I'll say it again, but I don't see why he can't be there with her. He should. He could dig it. He could be there for her he and just yeah. support her. He could be a plus one and just support her. Starlight. It's basically New Year's all over again. And a hot guy coming in, just go kiss her. Hey. He knew! Oh, so you know, stop, you know, if that means throwing myself between you and the gym, I'm only gonna ask that you spare my face. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna rush in and just run. Okay. Okay. Can you give me a ride? My left leg's really tired. He, he <laughs> saw that she was doing fine. But she saw a shoulder of letter and she guessed it was him. She might be suspicious. See them kiss. Yes. See them kiss. They are so doing the tango together for sure. Come on. We knew it. I love when our instincts are right. I mean, she was doing gooey eye to him. Come on. Ugh. Oh, it had to be this. Oh my god. Bad man. Now we need to have proof and just destroy them. For her, it's back to square one. Yeah. I think it'd be good to go back to your roots a little bit. Bring back the old Julie. Be strong about it. <laughs> okay, it sucks. I get it. But come on. You're going to be fine. Hey. I saw your so shoulder. I just wanted to tell you how important it was for me to go to the school dance. I know. I spent the whole time wishing you were there. Aww. My life just doesn't work without you. She saw his shoulder. She didn't know it was him. She was like, oh, I wish Brian was there. <laughs> I'm seeing him everywhere. <laughs> Whatever song comes on the radio next will be our song, okay? Okay. okay. Please be a good song. <laughs> next song. No. It's more them. It's more of waiting for a couple song. I mean, was like your couple to be like candy shop? I was about to say that. I was about to sing candy shop. I love this song. We are on to you. Sweet, sweet ending. This is good. Yes, this is you good. You know, we said so many times that Brian and Marissa, when they are together, they burn bright and quick and sometimes their relationship is kind of toxic because they don't know how to communicate yeah. their feelings and what they want. Well, just there at the end, I was saying like, go, go into there and go be with her. It turns out that she ended up at his place saying like, I wish you, you would have been there with me and it, it's okay and this is potentially what we'll have in the future. But I had in my mind like that the grand gestures, what he did at New Year's, mm -hmm. just showing up to save her. And I guess this is what he was doing once again. He 
saw her alone, surrounded by strangers, and he felt that he needed to be there with her to help. The fact that he stopped himself, saw that she was doing just fine on her own, that she did not need help, she did not need saving, and he decided to step back and be like, you know what? I don't want to ruin this. This is maturity. This is growing up, and this is better. This is nice. So it's not the idea I had, but I'm stuck in the past, so... <laughs> also, Seth knew what his bro was about to do. Seth knew exactly he what can, was going to happen. I'm just here to don't let you pass through that gym door. But that's because Marissa already said that she doesn't need Ryan to jump into things. She, she doesn't need him to... He's so afraid that she needs help. He's so afraid that she's too fragile. She needs to be on her own. She but needs to be strong. That, technically, that's all he knows. I know. And um, she did not help. It's just that... Now that she's decided she needs to grow on her own a little bit, he needs to let her do that. Still be there when she needs him, for sure. And I think it's totally fine if he hangs out with her at her new school. She's got new friends. He can hang out with them as well. Like This is how this becomes long-term. Mm -hmm. But to constantly be thinking of her as a woman needing self-saving, like, oh, I, I need to jump in because there's no fucking way you're going to be fine on your own. Mm -hmm. That sends a bad message to her. And it also shows, like, you uh, a bit of jealousy, a bit of uh, anger issues, a bit of controlling issues. Like, kind of like you need to be there constantly because you need to make sure everything's fine with Marissa. Just trust yeah. her and let her go. It sucks because he does, like, this episode, he was alone most of the time. She's going through her own thing, and even though she, what she's going through is kind of worse because she's the one that shot Trey, because she doesn't have money anymore. It looks like out of the two of them, she's the one that is doing the best. Like, she's got new friends right away, right away at that new school. Yes, that bitch that's, you know, uh, bullying her is bad, but still, she's got new friends, and she can still go to school, and, and you know, she's back on her feet. And she's doing fine, and yet Ryan, he's the only one. Like, he's got the private homeschooling and stuff. It should be great, but he's on his own. He it's, wishes he could be with Marissa. It's because so. his man is set on Marissa. But now that you know that she's fine, he can work on his own right now. Well, yeah, I feel like, I was wondering, I was a bit sad because I feel like they said, oh, if, as long as you stick together, you're going to be okay. And they could not stick together this episode. Like, he's on his own. But it's true that Sandy has a point when he says you need to focus on your future, mm -hmm. you instead of Marissa always, because you're all you always do this, and Marissa needs also I mean, to be strong it, enough. It's all good when you're coupled that you care about each other, but you, you need to be able to care about yourself, also. Yeah. So because if you cannot do that, you not you cannot care truly care for someone else if you cannot take care of yourself. First. We said it in the past, but in order for, for this couple to work, Ryan needs to stop playing the savior. And needs to focus on his life as much as possible. And Marissa needs to stop being the victim and needs to start saving herself. Mm -hmm. And I think this episode, they almost fell back into the old pattern. It's but a good start. They're doing good. They have a song now. Yeah. It's a good one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we'll see where it goes. But I was a bit afraid. I was like, ah, we're at the beginning of a season. <laughs> we're going to destroy this couple as usual. It could still happen. Uh, one of the friends that she made is uh, hitting on her and she's getting close to that other guy who's with, who's got a girl already. So mm -hmm. we'll see if it turns into love triangles, if it's some of the guys try some stuff. The bullying might not stop right away, but the best way to face that is just mm -hmm. to keep going to school events, keep facing the bullies like it's not affecting you. Bullies thrive off of your reaction. So if you let them affect you, they'll keep they'll keep trying to insult you and put you down. So, yeah, I mean, find your friends, hang out with them, and don't listen to the bullying. Don't listen to the insults. They'll eventually grow tired of this, and they'll move on. Eventually? Hopefully? Well, hopefully. Usually that's how it works, because if you don't give a reaction to a bully, why? there's no reason to bully. Hmm. So, we've been through this. High school was tough, you know? Yeah. If you don't give a so. shit, they are moving on. But yeah, uh, when it comes to public school versus private school, rich versus poor, people that go to public school are not technically poor, but they're definitely not as rich as the others. So yeah. there's a separation when it comes to that. Uh, like, oh, uh, you obviously can pay for that big school. You got great clothes. But you I got, mean, you know, merch and stuff. Marissa <laughs> went to public school with a branded outfit like yep. Chanel, Gucci. Louis Vuitton shoes and stuff. You're basically <laughs> telling everyone that you're better than them and that yeah. you can afford the big shit. 
and it's just like, oh, it's kind of like sending, I know it's not what she's doing, but it, for, for other people, it could be sending the message of, I screwed up in my other school, so now I gotta go with you, but mm -hmm. I don't want to, you're not worthy, but I, that's all I have left. Like it's And it does remind me once again with the movie, uh, Bring It On, yeah, yeah, number yeah. four. With the Hayden Panettiere? Yeah, yeah. Same thing. I mean, we've seen this in many, many, many stories. And I, like I said in the episode, I was about to say, like, oh, people in public school, we don't, you know, necessarily react that bad to people from private schools or people that are rich, richer and stuff. But then I remembered, it's true, we there's a rivalry. We a nice rivalry with our neighboring school. There's a rivalry. Uh, sometimes it comes out as mockeries, kind of like back in our school. Literally, our public school was right next to the private college. Mm -hmm. uh, and the differences were pretty huge. In private, they were they wore the uniform. Mm -hmm. We didn't. So that was one of the mockeries that we would hear. Like, oh, you're forced to wear uniforms. Haha, <laughs> it's... Basically, we don't... Like, I remember not giving a shit about private school. I was like, okay, it sucks that they have to wear uniforms. But people around us would be mocking them on this. Not necessarily because they want this, but... It's the different. It's the difference. It's the school rivalry, and for some people, it can be the the confirmation that yeah, you cannot afford this. So might as well look at everything that that they're doing and try to find ways to mock them because you cannot afford to be there. They are the privileged ones. You know, it's a way to make you feel better. That's how bullying works. Mm -hmm. When you are going through something or you're living a like, you need to feel bigger you will put down those bigger people in order to feel like you're you're great, stronger. Didn't we it also almost sucks. got a uniform at our school? I think they talked about it one year. That never happened. That would never have worked. Not at our school. But uh, yeah, that that's how bullying works in many, many mm. ways. It's just, it's people that are different, people that need to feel stronger. So they will prey on those that have stuff that you can prey on. So Marissa shot someone, she's new at the school, she doesn't have many friends, she's a victim, she's a target, she'll People be targeted. People think that they don't, they're not comfortable being in that place, like they think that they don't belong there. Usually that's easy to prey on them, yeah. A anything that can make you a prey, so if you're new, if you don't have friends, if you're different, if you are shy, like it, sometimes it doesn't take much. I, I remember like there was a group of bullies in my school that targeted me at the very beginning only because I was uh, right next to them uh, with my locker, and I was I was shy, so I wasn't I wasn't talking much. But the only thing that happened first day of, fir of of school, first year, I got to my locker, put my things in, just not talking to anyone. That's all it took. They targeted me right away, because you appeared to just be vulnerable. Unfortunately, yeah. So that's how bullying works, and it fucking sucks. But now she's got friends, and that's a great first step. Are your bully got friends? What? Your bully got friends. That's nice. No, I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying Marissa. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's <laughs> nice that she has a, a support group with new friends. Yeah. Kind of like oh, again, I'll talk about personal experiences. But these same people, these same girls that targeted me in high school, I had a group of friends. So what happened is like I just changed my locker. Like I just like okay, well you're about to treat me like shit. I just I'm gonna switch my locker, and I spent my my time with my friends, and we were a big group of outcasts together. So they would follow us around, and one day they sat next to us. Like we had a tree at the school, and we would all go there as a gang, and they sat at the tree next to us, and they would throw insults. But like we were between friends, we were having fun. We did not even hear these girls. So. At the end of the day, they were basically alone, just throwing insults, and they spent a terrible diner. That's what. That's how I dinner. That's how I, I saw it because I'm like I'm having fun. So what are you trying to do? <laughs> and that's the best. That's one yeah. of the best way. It's not as it's not easy for everyone, and mm. making friends is hard, especially when mm. you're starting anew. But Marissa I got it. So, I mean, people are gonna find any reason to just throw insult to just make themselves feel bigger. If you let it affect you, that's when you you stay the victim. But she's gonna do fine. She's mm -hmm. got friends already. Ryan is there to support her if there's anything. And like, to be fair, if, if it gets tough, just bring your hot girl, your hot bo boyfriend at school. <laughs> your hot, I your mean, hot girlfriend. She, she had a hot girlfriend. No, 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 she had a hot boyfriend. Bring your hot boyfriend with his letter jacket and his the chino attitude and, and it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, really just, Spend time with your friends, and eventually you won't hear mm. the insults anymore. You won't. It won't matter. 
So this is good. Putting that aside, <laughs> who wanna talk about Julie, Kirsten, or the illegal couple as well? We can fast, you know, we can quickly talk about Charlotte because I'm just, in a way, I'm actually glad that it's just about money. Not as far-fetched as we thought. I, I was afraid it was gonna be like a an obsession type of thing where like she wanted her life or she wanted her husband or she wanted her, like it, it we went far with our expectations Could of this. Have, been. have you seen one trail? Yes, but I'm saying I'm I'm happy that it's not that. Because for Kirsten's sake, like it's gonna be less. I mean, they could still try to do shit, but yeah. And now it's just about money. It, it it's still dangerous. We don't know what they're gonna do. If it's like Bonnie and Clyde situation, it could end in a bloody situation. Mm -hmm. But and I don't know. Like we're selling the the, the Newport Group, so. There is no money to give like that. So what are they gonna try? What can they try to do next? I don't know. It looks like we're we could, like we're a target for her now. But since we don't have the money, maybe she's just gonna move on. But I I don't feel like it's a proper ending for this chapter. No, she's not gonna leave right away. Yeah. So we'll see where she it goes. She has something. She she has something else up her sleeves. We'll see so. where it goes. But Kirsten, I'm glad that she did not listen fully to what Charlotte was saying because she tried to manipulate her insecurities, her problems or issues, what she told her, she used that against mm -hmm. her to try and convince her to, you know, still keep the company, kept ga give the money to her project. And yeah. I'm glad that Kirsten is strong enough to let that go and, and, you know, start anew, leave her father behind for good. It's sad. It's definitely, it's a big part of her life. It's a big part of her she father's life. She needs to detach herself from the image of, she had of her father and the image that she created of herself for her father also. And I mean, the, there are many issues with keeping the Newport group because of the debt and, and the loan. So to mm -hmm. let that go is not a bad idea, but it's the end of a big chapter. So she's gonna have to find herself. I, I feel like she could go through a period of an unemployment and feel like, she needs to do something, so that would be a great way to start something new. Sandy went through that uh, early in the show, when uh, he with his with left his law his career, firm, like yeah. when he left the firm. So maybe this is uh, her time, and that be that that could mm. be good. But we'll see where it goes. But Kirsten is a good architect; she can do something about it. Yeah, but it. you're still starting a new. Yeah, you can't just do whatever. Like you, you gotta, you gotta um, start somewhere. She might start her own architecture. Uh, arch Ar can you say the word for me, please? Architecture. Thank you. Company. <laughs> yeah, but you need money for that. We'll yeah. see her start whatever. Uh, she might go through a period of unemployment and then feel like she needs mm -hmm. this, but I'm excited. You did say that maybe they should maybe sell uh, the Newport Group to Julie. She looked at the papers and it looked like she had a, an idea, so maybe she'll go back on this. Um, she cannot buy it. No. And that's one of the issues. But we'll see. They also said that they, they want to help her. Um, we'll see where it goes. The, the thing with Julie is I feel bad when I look at her cry and stuff. So. She worked really, really hard to have a good life with Jimmy and with Caleb and just wow. as of now. Because, I mean, we know that she used to do adult movie when her mom was sick. When she you was said younger. she worked really, really hard. She no, no, married I mean, into one. No, but so. she... She married to richness, I know. And now, I'm. At, that's why I'm saying she, I'm glad, in a way, that she's going through this. Because I feel like this is the way we get to a more genuine Julie. Yeah. She, one that is back to square one and is going to need to fall back on her feet like Marissa. So mm. she needs to stop being the victim, stop being the wife that people pay for. And, and now she's going to have to fight for herself. Find a way to prove, to, prove her worth. Well, uh, word, sorry. find a way to start anew yeah. and it's going to be tough because losing everything is really tough. But she's, it's, not, it's not like she's at the end of everything. Like she has so much expensive stuff. I looked at Marissa earlier and I'm like, the jewels, the necklaces, the shoes, the, the bags, the, the, the bags, car, everything. Yeah, just sell a couple of those. And honestly, you're going to have enough money to at least cushion yourself for a while. You know? It's not that bad, but it's a great wake up call. What did he say in Titanic again? Tu voudrais que je vende tous nos souvenirs qu'on vive dans la rue. Well, some, something like that. When she says that, uh, yeah, selling the stuff, selling the paintings because yeah. of the debt. All of your old memories, the stuff that used to belong to you that makes 
uh, represent your past life, basically. Yeah, but you have no other choice. And to hang on to material things like this is a bit stupid when you're at the end of the rope like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but it's not like they're alone. Like they have friends. Uh, they've been offered money. Summer can take care of, of Marissa. So it's not that bad compared to stuff I know about, situations I've been through or I've seen friends go through. Like it's really not that bad. But it's a big wake up call. So yes, it's she's gonna be sad. Not that bad. But she's gonna be sad. It's gonna be tough. But yeah. I'm actually excited to see her fight for herself. Depends on how she fights for herself, but it's hard. But. Like Marissa said or told her mom, she's a survivor. And she also has friends like Kirsten and Sandy who can yeah, help her out. For sure. It's gonna be great. We'll see where it goes. But, uh, and finally, I just wanna say, I told you so. <laughs> I we mean, knew. we thought maybe um, could be a stepfather, no, no, stepbrother, no. but the finish was doing a lovey dewey eye. The names to the guy. never fit. The names didn't fit. Could be a step something. Too old for that. But the sleeping together, I saw it coming, I mean, we saw it she, coming. She was doing a, a lovey dewey eye to the It was obvious. The, the dean, so yeah. I'm patting myself on the shoulder, but honestly, it was really obvious. And uh, it made sense because he was on our backs from the beginning. Everything he did, that, that doesn't make sense. Like, his, he doesn't have that power, you know, what he's for forcing Seth to do and manipulating Summer by, by, you know, having her admit to stuff. Like, he's being a bully. Yeah, and everything he does, Prof profits her, Taylor. Mm -hmm. So mm -mm. we got to we didn't get to proof. Cut them in the act and yeah. kick them out of the school. At least him. And maybe if we do that, we can prove that they had an agenda against Ryan and Marissa. Yeah. So that would be, we'll see. Not that it's bad for Marissa to go to public school, but yeah. At, at least they deserve <laughs> this to come to light. They're just a uh, hell punishment. Well, from, from, because of what they put us through, yeah. Yeah. Especially since it's based off of personal feelings towards us. So it's not, it's not business. So that doesn't happen. That, that should not hap mm. uh, happen. <laughs> I can't speak. Okay, we're going to end this here on, on the, before I you know, say more shit. Screw that up more. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next episode right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. And if not, the next one will be on YouTube next week. Yes. So see you then, guys. Bye.